In this video, we're going to take a bit of a deeper look into the GitHub actions that produce the GDS files that we use to do the tape out and also do the documentation. So to show you this in action, I'm going to be using the Verilog demo, which is a fork of the submission template. And the way that the GitHub actions work is inside this special .github directory, we have workflows, and then we have these three different files here. And the most important one is the GDS. And then we have one that generates documentation, and we also have one for the test. So if we take a look at the GDS one, we've got the name and we've got uh, two types of the action running. One is whenever we make a change and we push it to the repository. And the other one is a workflow dispatch, which means that we can start this job running whenever we want over here and then clicking run workflow and I can just hit this button that will start that job running again. We've got a bunch of environment variables here that say what version of open lane to be installing and where it should be installed along with the variant of the PDK and where the PDK should be installed. We want to run on the latest Ubuntu and it starts off by checking out the repository that we're actually working in so that's the submission repository and the next thing it does is checking out another repository called TT Support Tools. And this is a change from uh, Tiny Tape Out 2 to 3. So we have another repository here and that has a file in it called TT Tool. And that uh, tool uh, can now handle a lot of the different things that we were doing kind of in the GitHub action. So a lot of the stuff in Tiny Tape Out 2 that was in the GitHub action has been moved out into this Python script. So that makes it easier to debug and to develop and also means that you can run this on your own computer if you're kind of doing more technical stuff. So then we install the requirements that are necessary and then the first bit of work that we do is this create user config. And what that does is sets up the configuration file for open lane to be able to harden the design. And then we build open lane, we check out a shallow copy and build it and then we harden the design with the tty tool.py dash dash harden so let's just take a look at that that's in this project library here and right at the bottom here these environment variables that we set at the top of the action are in use and then we just run this one long file here to do the hardening And then we use the TT tool again to uh, print warnings, show statistics, uh, do the cell categorization. Uh, we save a bunch of this information into the cache. We generate the PNG and we save the PNG. We generate some files that are used for the 3D viewer. Um, we make some artifacts so that we can download the results of the run from open lane like the final GDS and the metrics. And then we do the publishing to GitHub pages so that we get that nice preview. And then finally add the 3D and the 2D preview. So if we take a look at what that actually looks like, can click on one of these successful jobs. And we see these, uh, all these parts that I just mentioned running one after the other. Here's the artifacts that we can download. Synthesis warning. So this is uh, a new thing that we've added for Tiny Tape Out 3 uh, to kind of bring up to the center any Yosis warnings. Routing statistics, 5% usage. Um, 5,000 microns of wire. And then here we've got these uh, cell categories. So we've got, this is the total number of fill cells, tap cells combinational logic and you can click on any one of these and it's going to take you to the definition along with a little circuit diagram and the standard cell. Then we've got the 3D viewer. Up here we've got the key so we can hide the fill, hide um, the top geometry, the routing. We can select one of these, press three and that will highlight it. Looks like a flip-flop. 
and then up here, yeah, DFXTP is a flip-flop. Then we can also turn on and off these layers to get a better understanding of how this flip-flop is actually put together. And then the last thing is the picture. So let's take a bit of a deeper look into the open lane part. So open lane is an RTL to um, GDS flow. So you put in your Verilog or your Wokui design, which gets converted into Verilog and it comes into the top here, gets synthesized. We run timing analysis, floor planning, routing, uh, detailed routing, extract the parasitic resistances and capacitance, run another static timing analysis, and then stream the output to the GDS2 files. And those files are the ones that we use to send away to the foundry. If you want to find out more about this, so you can check out this page. It's on my zero to asic course.com website. And if you want to get more in depth into understanding how this stuff works, then I recommend you take my in-depth course called the zero to asic course.